The birds stopped eating at these feeders, which made no sense seeing how they are always hungry. Turns out, they didn't feel safe. The bird buffet is always stocked with sunflower seeds, peanuts, niger, and suet nuggets. Spring and summer features the addition of grape jelly, oranges, and sugar water for the hummingbirds. A few weeks ago, I changed things up and gave them a different seed blend. This one contained dried fruits. They had eaten this type of blend on occasion before, and they loved it. At first, nothing unusual was happening. The regular customers liked the food selection and the feeders were on their normal refilling schedule. One week after the new food was offered, things began to slow down. It got to the point where they were barely touching the food, even in the feeders not containing the new mix. At a distance, nothing was obviously wrong. But on closer inspection, this is what was driving the birds away. Eastern Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets were going crazy for the cherries in the new seed blend. Sifting out the fruit every time the feeder gets refilled would have been time consuming. The birds will have to wait until Yellow Jacket season is over before this mix is offered again. Two weeks before the Yellow Jacket takeover, I put out an Oreo feeder containing grape jelly and orange halves. These foods are also favorites of house finches, mockingbirds, and American robins, and even hummingbirds. While watching this ruby-throated hummingbird sample grape jelly, she seemed to be keeping an eye on something. Paper wasps had eaten the jelly in the past, so I figured that this was the case this time. Wrong. After getting a closer look, the jelly eaters were in fact bald-faced hornets. These guys realized they had hit the jackpot. Look at them, almost rolling around in jelly. Bald-faced hornets are aggressive. Not wanting to test the hornet upsetness scale, I waited until nightfall when the hornets would go home before taking down the Oreo feeder and bringing it inside. They begin looking for sweet treats in mid to late summer and into autumn, as their earlier food sources begin to dry up. The workers are in search of sugar, which gives them energy. Several bird species will eat hornets, wasps, and yellow jackets. This includes tanagers, gray catbirds, chipping sparrows, and blue jays. Unfortunately, none of these guys were around. That brings us to hummingbirds. When more than a few wasps, bees, or hornets are present, the hummingbirds won't feel comfortable taking a drink. Bees, wasps, and hornets can be deterred by the scent of peppermint. Coat parts of the feeder, such as the flowers around the ports and the rim. You can buy commercially made tubes of peppermint gel or use a peppermint flavored lip balm. The wasps, bees, and hornets mostly stay away and the hummingbirds can get a drink without being bothered. Research has shown wasps see the color red poorly but are attracted to other colors, such as yellow, white, green, purple, and pink. Replacing feeders or feeder parts containing these colors is another option. This tube style feeder has another problem. Sugar water is slowly leaking from the drinking port and dripping to the ground. European paper wasps, yellow jackets, and a bee took a drink. And a ruby throated hummingbird was not happy. After rubbing the peppermint lip balm on the bee guard and above the cap, the wasps were less active, but of course, the dripping continued. If these visitors are getting inside the feeder, consider installing bee guard tips. These are plastic covers that slip over the feeder port tubes or tabs from the inside. Hummingbirds can still drink, but other visitors can't get through. Another option is to use a feeder with smaller openings. The first hummingbird feeder has larger ports that allow wasps to enter and drown in the nectar. The second has smaller openings and does not have that problem. The moat at the center of this feeder should be filled with water. That will keep ants from climbing down the rod and getting into the sugar water. For feeders without a built-in moat, a separate moat can be hung above. 
I only fill the ant mutt with water since some of the smaller birds also check it out and take a drink. Don't fill the nectar reservoir all the way to the top. Topping off will make it easier to spill the nectar and get it on the outside of the feeder. A high sugar water level makes it easy for the unwanted visitors to drink from the ports. Rinse off any spilled sugar water that ends up on the outside of the feeder. Even when dried, it could attract these other visitors. These steps should keep them from having an all-out block party at your hummingbird feeders, but you'll still see a few of them checking things out. Are you having problems with wasps, hornets, or bees at your feeders? Do you have any other solutions besides what's in this video? Don't forget to comment down below. Also, don't miss out on future content by hitting that subscribe button.